Welcome back you guys. I'm Tassie and today I'm having a seafood boil. This was by request. This is from the Cajun House and over here we have Louisiana Dry Rub and this is the Green Lip Mussels with Potatoes. Over here we have Shrimp with Head On and this is their regular house sauce. Both of them are in really spicy. And this is basically a one and a half pound <laughs> lobster tail that I also baked and I'm going to have it with this as well. And before we get started, I wanted to do a huge shout out to Demetrius. So Demetrius is one of my viewers and it was actually just his birthday the other day. So happy belated birthday to Demetrius. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, so I have not done a seafood boil in a long time. no particular reason you know I've just been really busy tons of other dishes were out I just got it on my leg no particular reason why I haven't done a seafood boil in a while I know that this was requested a while back and so I'm finally doing it you know I just have like a lot of dishes that everybody's always asking for and so I gotta go check them all out. I'm gonna save this so I can get that little abductor there. This is really spicy. And I actually learned getting the abductor out from you guys. <laughs> mm. I do love green lip mussels. I apologize in advance if I'm a little messy here. has a lot of sauce. All of this was $30. Pound of the green lip mussels, pound of the head of shrimp. The lobster I paid <clears throat> was hot. I bought the lobster at Cub Foods. I want to say it was, oh, I think it was $17. This guy is like huge.
I love it because it's nice and spicy. I do wish I had some lemon wedges. I don't have any actually. There was a lot. Of, that was a big one, and there was a lot more broth in there than I was expecting. Mmm. Mm. Have a lime in here. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> the lime it's actually really good <sighs> they gave me a ton of potatoes I'm super hungry. <clears throat> Soak it on up. This is spicy. <sighs> yeah, I really like the Cajun house a lot more. Because, like, you guys know, like, I've done seafood boils from uh, Cajun boiling. And Cajun Boiling actually delivers to my house through like Grubhub and DoorDash. But I actually don't like to order from them because it's really salty and it doesn't have really good flavors the way the Cajun House does. And the Cajun House, you know, they have two restaurants. One's in um, the Dinky Town area in Minneapolis and the other one's out in Savage. So I'll do the drive versus having it delivered because I prefer the food better.
But you know, everybody has different preferences on what they prefer. Because there's a lot of people who do like Cajun boiling in Minneapolis there. Yeah, Cajun boiling is pretty close to my house. And there's actually this one restaurant called Viet Noodles, Cajun Noodles. They are actually out in Woodbury and I have to go check them out, but they're kind of a far drive for me. Like they're pretty far. Like with traffic and everything. So today is actually Thursday and it, you know, like picking up food from here, from the Cajun house, it's in Minneapolis and I work in down, down St. Paul. So it's a lot, it's like, it's on my way home. But the Viet Cajun place is in Woodbury, which is like, for anybody who doesn't know, um, it's like this is St. Paul and this is Minneapolis and I live like right here. I would literally have to drive up and away and then drive all the way back through Minneapolis to come back home. So it's, and with traffic going to both areas, it's really bad. And I don't like to film on weekends because Weekends are the only time I have to myself. <sighs> yeah, so weekends are the only time that I have to myself, and so I don't like to film. So I don't know when I'm gonna make it up to Via Cajun noodles, but people said they really liked it. I had friends who went and they told me they really liked it. But they also sell pho there. And they live right by my sister's house. They don't live there. I'm sorry. Um, my sister lives there, but the restaurant is right by my sister's house. This is like a really nice burn where I don't feel like I'm dying, but my mouth is on fire. 
you know, <laughs> does that even make sense? <laughs> but it's like, this is like a really good spice level. You know, like you can taste everything. Um, it just tastes really good, but it's also really spicy in your mouth. Someone had actually asked me if you can get sick like eating the heads, you know, like sucking out the heads and stuff, I think. I've never gotten sick eating it. Even like, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you're just sucking out the juice and everything and I've never gotten sick eating it. I've never been asked that before, so I was like, oh. Now, if you've ever gotten sick eating the heads, you know, like sucking out the juice and all that stuff, let me know, but I've never gotten sick eating it. Hmm. You know what I really miss eating? I really, really miss eating um, from when I was in New Orleans. They had their uh, barbecue shrimp in New Orleans. I do miss eating that. <laughs> New Orleans. I was at Felix's. Um, and we had the barbecue shrimp. It's soupy like this, you know, and I, I was thinking it was like grilled on, on a grill. That's why they call it barbecue shrimp, but it's not. It's, um, it's like with Worcestershire, brown sugar, and a lot of butter, but it's like really good. And they put like some seasoning in there, of course, but it's like really good. And I do miss eating it. And I think it's one of those things where but you know like in your memory it was really really good so I'm wondering if it's like a nostalgic thing like if I go back to New Orleans and I have it it may not taste as good anymore because it was kind of like it was in that, that moment back then and it maybe I chalked it up in my head <laughs> And then when I actually have it, I'm kind of disappointed because it's not what I thought it was anymore. That I would be afraid of that. <laughs> mm 
but I remember it was really good. And I remember I got tired of peeling the shrimp. I just ate the shell. <laughs> Alright, one more potato and then I'm done. I'm like checking to see if I half bit these. <laughs> yeah, this sauce is now mixed with the Louisiana dry rub and the house sauce. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna go eat some oranges after this because whenever I eat a seafood boil, I'm like super dehydrated. I drink a ton of water. Mm. That was really good. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go wash up, eat some oranges. Thanks for watching.